Hello and welcome back to Community Lens. I am Erica Jones, the Membership and Outreach Director here at Somerville Media Center. We are in the studio again with another wonderful guest to talk about their organization and their upcoming event. And you can find out ways that you can get involved. So I am joined today by the ever fabulous <laughs> April Rank, the director of the Arlington International Film Festival. And they have their event coming up at the end of this month. And we're going to chat a little bit about the history and some of the festival highlights. So let's dive in. What is the history of the festival? Well, we organized seven years ago with the mission to promote cultural understanding through independent film. And it's been quite a success. We're growing exponentially every year. There are three components to the festival. Mm -hmm. We start out with uh, a festival poster contest. Mm -hmm. Um, that was high school, now it's college uh, level. Awesome. And uh, we concentrate on student, high school student filmmakers, and that's now listed with UNESCO. We get films from all over the world. We call our program Voices of, of Youth, um, where Arlington and the world converge. Wow. So that's, that's really that's a fun. That's tagline. That's really like good. That. And that's yeah. Saturday, uh, two hours of student film from all over the wow. world. And then, of course, the film festival itself, right. uh, independent film from locally, uh, Somerville, all the way to um, Iran. Wow. Yeah. That's really great. And I feel like this is a pretty unique festival. Like, what, what makes the Arlington International Film Festival maybe stand out a little bit more from some other ones in the greater Boston area? Well, I think that, you know, the commitment to really promote cultural understanding is, and we're so true to this, we really hold true to this, mm -hmm. um, I think that that's a big piece. And then we do feature panel discussions on prominent films uh, that uh, are conversations of the day. Great. Um, race relations mm -hmm. is going to be one for opening night. And environmental uh, water uh, uh, sustainability mm -hmm. in desert areas wow. will be closing. So it's this kind of, of film that really separates There's us from others. There's educational component and enrichment and um, some dialogue around the films too is really nice, so yes. more interactive as well. Exactly. That's great. So what are some of the highlights that some people can expect and to entice you all to come out and check out the festival? Well, I think I'm going to go and just be totally antithetical. Uh, <laughs> uh, Saturday night, uh, we're ending with a film called um, You Have a Nice Flight by a Vietnamese, American Vietnamese man that uh, will bring a lot of laughter. Um, it's really counter to, to a lot of the more serious films that we show, but it's all of the dynamics of flying out of the country and uh, what you have to encounter, all of the different cultural mm. uh, issues of language, customs, all of this, and wow. we all get a good laugh at this poor man <laughs> trying to return home on a family emergency. Okay. So. That's have a nice flight. All right. But uh, on the 21st, on Thursday, uh, sorry, that's Saturday, mm -hmm. October the 21st, mm -hmm. we're, s we're going to kick this festival off with an homage to the Serbian community mm -hmm. in the greater Boston area. And the film is The Promise. Mm -hmm. uh, it really is, um, it concentrates on um, an eastern area of Serbia that used to be a great winemaking area. And then after the war, people dispersed and just left older people there. The village was poor, wasn't happening. And a French couple uh, that were wine growers moved into the area, wanted to revitalize it. And the film is all about two cultures from the same continent coming together. Mm -hmm. Can they revitalize? Can they get the sommeliers from uh, France to even support what yeah. they're doing? And it's a lovely, lovely That's story. Cool. I like that. So we're going to. Skype the uh, filmmaker in oh, from nice. Serbia that night wow. and a nice That's reception great. after. That's awesome. Yeah. Cool. And then for people to get more information about the festival? Well, they can either go on our website, which is AIFFEST.org, okay. uh, or they can go on the Capitol Theater in Arlington's website. Because this is located, so the festival itself is happening at? 
It is happening at the uh, Arlington Capitol Theater with mm -hmm. exception of opening night, okay. which is the promise, and that's going to be at um, St. Savia uh, Orthodox Church in Arlington. Okay. No, Great. in Cambridge, sorry, in that's Cambridge. Okay. Cool, awesome. All right, well, that's a good wrap up. Any other things that we should plug? I just want to make sure that everybody knows what's happening for opening night. Okay. Uh, a local filmmaker from Arlington, Patrick John, uh, from Somerville, Patrick Johnson. Um, he did a film about Ken Field and oh, uh, Honk, yeah. the street activist bands. Yeah. That is going to be our first film that we show. This, yeah. Really going to be fun. Uh -huh. They're going to be playing outside oh, the theater cool. as people come in. Honk, so this is very timely as well. It is, and it leads into a feature film that we're going to be premiering in the U.S. called Shadowgram, oh, cool. and it's by an, um, an Italian uh, director that came to the south side of Chicago and is looking at race relations here in the U.S. Wow. Nice discussion after. It's going to be a great opening night. Really great. All right. Wow, jam-packed. Yes, come, jam -packed. come. I plan on it, and so should you. <laughs> so support uh, local filmmakers and international filmmakers, and more importantly, help support this organization who have been dedicating very passionately and diligently their time to uh, put this together and awesome volunteers as well who are involved to make this a great successful event thank you so Erica. thank you for coming in and sharing and uh get out and have fun arlington international film festival october 26 through 29 all right there you have it <laughs> <laughs>